So, hello, welcome back. Today another turntables favorites. And this time with a, with a very special listening session. A listening session with a very young girl, 14 years old. And this came together because my wife works in, uh, let's call it youth care. And, and she works with young people who have problems nothing too serious, something like they don't go to school or uh, doesn't interact as, as they should with, with other children. And uh, one of her, let's call them clients, is, is this 14-year-old girl and she is very introvert and, and doesn't connect, doesn't relate to other people as she should. But she loves music, my wife told me, and her favorite band is Nirvana. And she told, my wife told that young girl that I'm very much into vinyl, into music, even have a YouTube channel. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> and uh, 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 she asked my wife if she can listen with me to my kind of music or to better her kind of music. And as I knew that she's into Nirvana, of course, I, I put out some big guns <laughs> in that area. And I was really eager to do that session because this young girl only listens through SoundCloud, she said to music, never heard one or about vinyl. And that's quite interesting, of course, in a way. And so uh, she came, I, I, I turned off my hi-fi equipment and first thing I put on, of course, it, it's her favorite band, I put on Nirvana. This is the special deluxe edition with, with bonus and extras, but it is also a very good pressing of, of this Nirvana album of uh, uh, Nevermind. And of course, I put on Smells Like Teen Spirit. And she liked it. <laughs> she was quite surprised about the sound. She doesn't talk too much, but but she, my wife talked to her afterwards, and and she was was quite surprised about uh, 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 what she heard, and that was the start. And then she asked me if I have more music like that. I said, "No, come on, let's try something different." And I put on some avant-garde electronic, and mm -mm, that, <laughs> that doesn't work out too well. So we went back to her kind of music, the kind of music she likes, but she doesn't know every, anything else but, but Nirvana by name. And so I said, have you heard about yes? And she said, no. And so I put on this MoFi One Step, yes, Fragile, and played her the whole roundabout. And she really liked it and said, okay, so a little proc nerd. And um, she asked me if I have more of, 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 of that kind. And I said, yeah, there may be something you like. And I put on Jethro Tal Aqualang, the UHQR edition. And I played her the title song from, from this beautiful release. I played her Aqualung and once more. She liked it, but not that much. She liked Yes and, uh, and Nirvana more. And so, okay, okay, okay. Now I have two more to go. Um, and those are really, really important albums. And let's see how, if you like them. And then first one I took was my classic edition of this Led Zeppelin album and I played her Stairway to Heaven and that blows her away. She loved it and I say, yeah, they're cool, it's, it's cool stuff. And I told her how old this is, how huge this band was in that time and up to until today, up until to now. And I talked a little bit about uh, uh, um, releases and how many releases are out there from from this band and then she asked do you have something like that and also from a big band and I said yeah there may be 
there may be another one and then I, re uh, I, I, I uh, took out one of my mobile fidelity editions and I took out Pink Floyd and I played her the first side and that is now her favorite band. Okay, I didn't tell it to her because she would not probably have been interested in that story, but I tell it to you that this MoFi edition, although the price is around $400 for this one, isn't that hot. So like a lot of these old MoFi's, they are not so hot. So the prices are maybe for collectors, but it can't be because those are the best sounding versions that are out there. You find at least a version that are as good as this one for, for much less money. It's just probably just the name or the certainty that you get a decent copy if you go for a MoFi, but they are like the Beatles from MoFi. They are not so hot, but my young guest really loved it and is now completely into Pink Floyd. So we reached something, we, we did something and we will have another listening. Uh, she asked my wife if she can come again and of course she can. It's a little, uh, of course it's a pleasure to bring young people into vinyl, isn't it? So that's for this at least for me, very, very nice, great listening session. Other, other uh, turntables favorites of the last time has been somebody, for example, you probably know, Lee Scratch Perry, the Black Album. This Lee Scratch Perry in his old days brings out still beautiful, great albums. One, one of them is this one, the Black Album. I think it came out 2019. Great double album, fantastic listening. Lee Scratch Perry, the Black Album. Great one. And then a very, very special, very special listening, very interesting edition. It is, <laughs> I can get it out, it's Nouvelle Ambience or Ambience. This is music from the 80s out of Paris, you know. In Paris at that time, up, up until to now, but especially in that time, there has been a lot of black African people and they didn't get into the, the hot clubs. They can't get in and so they created their own culture with own clubs and, and this edition is in a way a an, an, an best of of their music in their clubs. And this is a fantastic listening. It's Nouvelle Ambience sounds from the Pan-African Paris underground. This one is highly, highly uh, recommended. Comes with a beautiful booklet out of that area, out of that time period. And it's really, really, really interesting. It's, it's dance music, African dance music out of the 80s. A beautiful double album and let me see if I find the label. No, I don't find it, but I, it's Ambience, okay? It, no, it, the title is Nouvelle Ambience Paris Brazzaville Kinshasa Douala Abidjan. Beautiful one. Try that one out. I think it's still relatively easy to get over at Discogs or eBay. Fantastic listening. Okay, put that away. Another listening I did in the last days was Power Electronics and this is a very hard to get uh, album. It's Alberich NATO Uniformen on white vinyl. Well, of course, the color of the vinyl isn't that important. Came out in 2014 on Hospital Productions. Alberich NATO Uniformen. One of the most interesting and one very, very early power electronic album by Alberich. Great one. Of course, I listened to jazz and I listened to 
Analog Productions um, Blue Note series, series, the three sounds bottoms up. When, when it comes to the three sounds, no, there is not much talking about the three sounds, but you're always on the same side. You always have a beautiful, mellow, bluesy, great jazz, and jazz listening when it comes to the three sounds. Another listening, another analog production of, last, of the last time has been The Doors, The Soft Parade. And I listened to that for several reasons. Of course, I love The Doors. I didn't listen to this too much because this is my least favorite Doors album. And one of the reasons, I, sometimes that changes, but after that listening it hasn't changed. It's still my least favorite Doors album. That's how it is. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great listening. Music Matters, SRX, Kenny Dorham, Afro Cuban. This is fantastic. This release came out originally in 1955, and we have here uh, Kenny Dorham on the trumpet. J.J. Johnson on the trombone, Hank Mobley, tenor sax, Cecil Payne, baritone sax, Horace Silver, piano, Oscar Pettiford, bass, Carlos Potato Valdez on the conga, and Art Blakey on the drums. Belongs to my all-time favorite editions from, from Blue Note, and of course these semi-transparent SRX from Music Matters, you know just simply the best. Another nice, mellow, beautiful listening is HTRK, Venus in Leo. Comes on beautiful transparent olive splattered or colored vinyl. And we are talking here, we are talking about new wave, lo-fi music, this album I think came out in 2019 and is a really 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 nice listening and I'm a bit surprised that nobody talks about HQRK Venus in Leo. Great album, great new wave, s slow, silent music. Highly recommended, try that out, maybe you like it. It's not, not very well known I'm afraid. Another album which is much better known and is a fantastic listen, listening. I remember uh, around, no, no, that, not, not that time of the year, but, but nine to eight months around, Mazzy uh, 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 brought me into this Cowboys Junkie album from Analog Production. Unbelievable sounding audiophile edition. The Trinity Session. Fantastic. Also a bit left field music. Boah, fantastic listening. Highly, highly recommended if you haven't already gone into this edition from the Cowboy Junkies. Always a fantastic listening. Another artist. Yeah, he's, he's very special. I'm, I'm sure you know him. I'm sure most of you like him. It's also once more an analog production. It's Dr. John's Gumbo. Fantastic sounding blues, Mississippi blues. It's outstanding. This Dr. John, look at him. He's, a, he's really something and, and his music every once in a while or if you like more often. But this is really the kind of music uh, uh, you need sometimes. And this album is a fantastic sounding one. Again, great job from Analog Production. Dr. John, Dr. John's Gumbo. And let's go back a little bit more into the uh, electronic realm. I'm talking about Tim Hacker uh, on this one is the only album he put on on 4AD, it's Love Streams. Mm, very nice listening. I have here the clear vinyl version. 
and as I said this came out on 4 AD and is an, one of my favorite Tim Hacker probably you've heard of him if not go over to one of those streaming portals and and listen a, uh, listen a bit uh, from this very interesting artist Tim Hacker Love Streams double album on 4 AD and finally of course no week without classical music <laughs> I've uh, uh, listened once more to one of my favorite classic releases of, of, of recent years and this is the direct to disc edition from Deutsche Grammophon Berliner Philharmonica Bernhard Heitning Anton Bruckner Symphony number no. 7 as I said this is a direct to disc edition so no need to talk about um, master tapes and something like that Fantastic. This is the second direct to disc edition I think um, Deutsche Grammophon did with the Berliner Philharmonica. The first one, also Bruckner, I think, is very expensive but doesn't sound as good as, as this fantastic release. This is an incredible sounding album. Already hard to get, but I think for all the classical nerds out there a must-have. In a way it's a must-have and again it's a shame that they didn't press more so they have been gone relatively quick but not your 22 seconds quick. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Let's say it has been out there for, for a week which in a way is okay. If you have three to seven days to all of these you can't complain you can be sorry that you missed it but you can't complain oh that was too fast because if you're into this kind of stuff you know that you have to be quick sometimes and seven days is is okay is okay so that's it for today like always i thank you for your time and i'm thinking about doing a video over easter about some things that really annoys me I know not about craft it's it's about mofi maybe maybe on Monday we will see I have to think about how I will put the things that annoy me annoys me right now when it comes to mobile fidelity but ma we'll we'll see okay once more thank you for your time have a great day have a great weekend and I hope to see you on my next video Thank you. Bye.